We're back for some more paint pouring. Mm -mm -mm. This is so awkward. Okay, today I'm gonna be using this flat type of canvas instead of the stretched one. Um, so hopefully it doesn't look as bad. I don't know. Honestly, I'm still using the paint from the art skills kit that I got. I had to get this canvas separately because I used all the ones that came in the kit. Once again, I am going to use this tray below on it and I'm going to do a flip cut pour and I'm running out of time so stay tuned for that. Okay, and these are the four colors that I'm going to be using. The purple, the teal, the white, and the gold. And then I'm going to be using this five ounce cup that it came with. I honestly have no idea how much paint to put in it but I just thought I'd let you know. And then some gold glitter so i'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of me adding the colors and then we'll flip it okay so i have this filled up to right of the first ridge on my cup so like right in here so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on top, try to center it and flip it and hope it turns out okay. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do let it sit for a bit and let all that drip down. Okay, so there's still a bunch of paint in the cup, but I'm on sweet impatience, so I'm going to go ahead and lift it up and see what happens. Oh, I got the cells! Look at that! Oh my gosh, it looks so good. This is the first one I've done that turned out good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a close-up. That way you can see this pretty awesomeness. Look at how good that is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it in just a second and hope it stays looking cool. Okay, and to get the rest of the paint out of this, I'm gonna go ahead and use this little stick that I came with to get the rest of this purple and gold out and I'm just going to go ahead and put it along the edges here where I have a tendency to have trouble getting coverages in these corners. The inside of the cup looks really pretty though. Not as much now that I've like kind of annihilated it. So I figured out with the silicone that I just simply wasn't using enough. I put like literally half that bottle that was left in this purple. So I just wasn't using enough of it. Okay. And now to tilt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it. Okay, so I literally just got the blow dryer out to try to move the paint um, to get more coverage and I don't have enough for even the blow dryer to move it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, mix up some more paint in the cup and add it to the edges and hopefully I don't ruin it because I'm honestly really in love with how it looks right now. So for the cup, since there's already a little bit of purple and gold in it, I'm going to go ahead and do um by gold i meant gold glitter so i'm just gonna do some blue and i think there's enough gold in it as it is right now and then some white this green that's in it is actually uh, i didn't put any green in it it's from the blue and gold interacting and hopefully 
this is enough that still looks cool it's the theme gives that extra coverage I need without completely ruining it you know I feel like that's not asking too much, but who knows. Hmm, I don't think that was enough. Okay, let's add some purple and some gold. I'm really bad at figuring out how much paint to put on these, honestly. It's kind of sad. I'll get there. It just wasn't tonight. Okay, and for these pieces, I am going to use the blue dryer. Hopefully it doesn't make it mucky. So, um, you can see where the gold was at in the middle and where the dry paint was underneath and the paint that wasn't completely dry ended up coming up a little bit, but it was already kind of dry. So there's a lot of texture over in this area now, um, but it's just kind of one muddy blue purple mess now. When I used my blow dryer before, like you saw on the time lapse, it didn't move it at all. So I wasn't honestly expecting it to just go over literally everything that I had just done. But yeah, that's it now. <laughs> 